a game I did want to finish and did want to start was Batman The Enemy Within, which is the sequel to the Telltale series Batman, which is that narrative thing, like the Walking Dead Telltale games. And I've talked about it on this podcast before the first one, and I really, really thoroughly enjoyed the first one. Uh, it's on sale again for £6. I managed to pick it up for £4 a long, long time ago, the second one. But it's basically the same as before, just more of it. There's lots, like, there's lots of voice dialogue, lots of cutscenes, lots of decision making, uh, multiple choice tick boxes as you, as you, as people start to learn uh, who your Batman is. You know, your your everything you say has a consequence in the game, and th- and not just the fighting as well, which is touchscreen based. If you're using a touchscreen, um, everything does have a consequence, and it doesn't seem as much of a consequence when you're playing through as the first game did. But by the end of it, I had changed my thoughts and thought, oh, there's so many things and areas that you could have gone down. Uh, One of the kind of big plots going through this is the establishment of Joker and how he becomes the Joker and your interactions with the character before he's the Joker. And as I'm going through it, I've created a Joker that's a vigilante. He's trying to copy Batman. He sees Batman as a hero and he's, you know, he drifts off from there. Um, but you can see that they've got many, many different jokers that you could have created, and it might be interesting to go back to that. Um, apart from what it does well, what it doesn't do so well, it seems to be a lot more drop frame rates. The loading screens, and I have one on Twitter, if you check my Twitter account on, it's over 40 seconds for a load, you know? So you, you'll have a dialogue section, you're talking to Catwoman or whatever, you do a couple of multiple choice things, five minutes of gameplay, and then there's another 40 second, and this is longer. I can remember there being 30 second loading screens in the first game. This has got even slower loading screens. Um, and there's not much Batman in it. That's the other downside. Where the first game had about a 50-50 split between Bruce Wayne and Batman, this is a lot of Bruce Wayne. This is a lot of talking. This is a lot of walking around crime scenes and linking evidence together. It's a far slower paced game than the first one, which added a lot of more combat into it. And my last thing which I didn't like about it, there was some touch screen inconsistencies which I didn't see in the first one. There was some ele- some cutscenes, you know, once once you see a cutscene and he comes in and then he goes, oh, quick, you got to press the button quick, right? So I touch the screen, and there's no reaction, nothing happens. I've tried it three or four times, the touch screen's not working. The scene after, the touch screen works. So just for that scene, I've got to use the buttons on the joy pad because the joy pad is registered, but the touch screen doesn't work. And it's, it, there, there, there are more shonky little bits in this um, sequel than the first one, even though the first one had its fair share of shonk. Um, this is more so than the original. If you had to buy one of them, buy the original, obviously, because it starts a story. This one continues it. All the kind of decisions you make from the first game are carried over to the second game. Good, but not as good as the first one. I had heard those those Telltale games were like bad for... You know, like their like performance. <laughs> yeah, um, and I, I, I really thought the first Batman game did perform admirably. Mm-hmm. This one has problems. Yeah, I mean, you did mention like the long load times there, and um, that's actually something I could mention. I could have mentioned with Resident Evil Zero. There, it's not. They're not bad. It's just you know when you walk through a door and you have that sort of like we cut scene or whatever where the door opens. There's a wee bit of a delay after that until you're into the the next room. There's it still loads a wee bit, which is it's not like it's not a big deal. It's only a couple of seconds more, but it is it's definitely noticeable. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.